Hello beloved, we uh, started um, kind of laying some foundation, we talked about oneness, we talked about strategy, warfare, <laughs> and um, today we want to talk about names. These are some um, um, important understanding um, things for you to grow and so I can impart things so as we communicate when something is coming through my mouth you have the same way of understanding this okay so this is important um, I want to um, I want to take you into a place that the Lord opened up for me uh, lots of years ago where um, he would work something extremely deep even strategic um, things that he wanted to change inside me through the names in the Old Testament the names in the Bible I had a little names uh, dictionary and he would say read this so i'll read that had you know 10 names and um, he would show me exactly how the names um, connect to each other and a whole strategy would come up from those names later on we learned about the bible code and how um, unique is the Bible in this book like nothing else no other book that was ever written All right so deep inside there is there is lots of truth and some of the some of it is hidden inside right the glory of God is to hide things and the glory of the kings you and I is to search it out so we'll go into this type of um, deep treasures okay <laughs> I know you want to do that <laughs> that's why you're listening so talking about names why names are important right and we'll see a place where different cities they had an old name from the people that used to live there pagans or something and when the Lord would bring his people or would bring uh, will take over they would change the name of the city uh, that that is so so important right um, again I'm, I'm taking you on this journey right may not may not see anything yet names are important because I feel like the Lord communicates <clears throat> from the truth from eternal life through these names are like laser beams right um, for example Genesis 1 let there be light as expected in in uh, Hebrew there are only two words the first one is be and the second one is light be light you understand it's not quite a uh, a creation a matter that's changing this is a being thing and I looked for that B in Genesis 1 and all the other days of creations they don't have that verb be <laughs> let there be a firmament and let there be seeds and let there be this and let the waters separate and do you know the whole chapter 
that's where the B is. B light. It's almost like that um, creates a realm of existence where all the other creation it's being formed. All the other things are being created, formed inside the realm of being. The light is. All the others are created in something that is and exists. Right. So, names are important. <laughs> You heard us probably saying, hey, we, you know, we don't call ourselves Christians uh, or religious or, you know, we call ourselves sons. And I say, well, that's okay, that's okay with you. You want to call yourself sons? And, but if you understand the word be... <laughs> you'll understand that when God said, today I have begotten you, you are my son. He created this realm of existence called son. <laughs> son is a mode of existence. <laughs> That's uh, uh, it's big, isn't it? Yeah, the name Sun. It's um, it's not just um, a, a creation, something a becoming, some you know, something you aspire to, you hope you'll be one day. No, no, no. That's that name contains all this <laughs> yeah the sun that's that's amazing that's powerful okay so so think about this that all the things as far as in the new creation um, the changing of your soul the changing of the mind the um, um, a new body, your um, your body that has no death, right? All these things are inside this realm of existence called Son. You are my Son. <laughs> you understand? When he says, when John says, the ones that believed in his name, he gave them the power, the right, the authority to become, to enter in this existence as sons. <laughs> it's not just a title. <laughs> it's not just something the celebration keeps saying. It's the name of being. <laughs> okay, that's, is it, does it help? I'm sure it does. So, I'm going to, I'm going to start you on reading from the Old Testament because we'll spend some time in the next few days in the Old Testament because there is some truth that is coming and the Holy Spirit, Spirit of Truth, is bringing into, into us, renewing our mind. Uh, Joshua 15 from 13. Now he gave to Caleb, the son of Jephune, a portion among the sons of Judah, according to the command of the Lord to Joshua, namely, what, what he gave him? He gave him Kiriath Arba. Okay, Kiriath is a name in that language for city. So it would be the city of Arba. Arba 
being the father of Anakh, A-N-A-K, Anakh. And then he says in parentheses, that city, that is Hebron. Wow, interesting. Old name, new name, realms of existence, right? Caleb drove out from there the three sons of Enoch. And it's like the word, it takes this time to put those names in there because want to show us something and we'll go through this in the next few days. It's amazing, right? The three sons, the Sheshai and Ahiman and Talmai, the children of Enoch. Then he went up from there against the inhabitants of Debir, D-E-B-I-R, Debir. Now the name of Debir formerly was Kiryat Sefer. Kiryat, we know, it's the city of Sefer. It's, do you see the details the Lord goes into? <laughs> oh yeah, maybe, maybe before you just read through and kind of uh, flip the page already. Yeah, No, no, we'll, we'll stay with this. Okay. Caleb said, the one who attacks Kiryat Sefer and captures it, I will give him Aksa, my daughter as a wife. Othniel, the son of Kenaz, the brother of Caleb, captured it. So he gave him Aksa, his daughter, as a wife. It came about that when she came to him, she persuaded him to ask her father for a field. So she alighted from the donkey and Caleb said to her, what do you want? And she said, Give me a blessing. Since you have given me the land of the Negev, give me also springs of water. That girl, like that girl, she knows how to ask and what to ask for. <laughs> so he gave her the upper springs and the lower springs. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the sons of Judah, according to their families. Now, you know the line of Judah, I know Jesus comes out of Judah. So, when we're going to go through it, you're going to understand this is your inheritance. <laughs> you better know it. <laughs> so, names. One of the richest places in the New Testament that's really um, very uh, powerful as far as um, presenting the names, the names of Jesus, describing this new existence of Son, right? It's in Revelation 19, verse 11. Now I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. And he who sat on him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he judges and makes war. All of this is alive. <laughs> All of this are realms of life faithfulness, truthfulness, righteousness, everything, it's a life. It's not just like, yeah, let's call him this way. Okay. Remember the laser beam? Mm -hmm. His eyes were like a flame of fire and his head had many crowns. He had a name written that no one knew except himself. That's another name. <laughs> Only he knew. 
He was clothed with a robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. Wow. And the armies in heaven, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, followed him on white horses. Now out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, that with it he should strike the nations. And he himself will rule them with a rod of iron. He himself treads the winepress of the fierceness, fierceness and wrath of the Almighty God. And he has on his robe and on his thigh a name written, a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. It's not a title. It's not a position. It's a name. All this, it's a name. What is this name opening up? What's happening in your soul <laughs> when you hear this name? King of kings and Lord of lords. Ah, above all names, above all power, all principality, above all things, the name of Jesus. That's so, so amazing, so powerful. This is the place. This is what your father is about. <laughs> it's it it's not just uh, you know yeah you know let's fight to this let's get this headache healed and let's get the sickness healed and no, you've been open, a realm of existence. You are called. To be a son of God. And all this is open up to you. This is foundation. And we'll, we'll keep going. We'll go more into the names. <laughs> I know you cannot wait, right? <laughs> uh, yes, that's awesome. Love you.